What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite action figure wave review on the WWE Elite Top Talents 2023 Wave 2 Wave. That didn't really flow as good as I wanted to, but we are back with another Top Picks Wave. We've reviewed every single Top Picks Wave that we've ever gotten. You guys know it is the hard hitters, the big sellers, the ones that are going to fill up your Walmart shelves along with other Elite Waves. This year, it is only three, or at least not this year, but this wave of of figures. This is our second wave of this year for the top talents and we do have Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio been uh, a feature in the set. Roman Reigns last few years. Seth Rollins, we've seen him over the years as well. I'm just glad we don't see Braun Strowman here anymore because those days sucked. Anyways, I am very, very excited to get into this wave. We actually talked about this wave the other day, but here we are, man, and we have brand new packaging. One thing you guys will notice about these guys is that the packaging is slightly different. So this is the 2023 packaging and this is the 2022. So really, it's the same packaging. They just shrank the WWE logo there. And I think this is cleaner. I think it looks a lot better. It's not as awkward looking. It doesn't cover up as much. So this actually looks better to me. I like this a lot better. You know, it's practically the same, but I, I think, you know, just tweaking it that much is pretty nice there. But we do have Roman Reigns here. We do have the red gauntlet. Again, we did go over these figures literally yesterday, I think. And now here they are at my door. So it's, it's pretty wild to say the least. But there's Roman Reigns. He is in the wave. We also have a look at Seth. Rollins right here. Nice little repaint here. We're, we're going to get into the details of it. Not so much feeling it, but you know, you never know. But the gem of the entire set has to be this freaking Macho Man Rey Mysterio. Oh my God in heaven. It looks even better in person. I can't wait to get it out. This is the gem. I cannot wait to see exactly what this thing's going to be about, but Rey Mysterio is looking good. Man has like six million figures in the last couple years, and it's unbelievable. But there's Rey Mysterio in his packaging looking pretty good. You got the bio on the back there. Not even gonna bother reading it, honestly. Like, it, it, does anyone care? No. They, they, we don't care. We don't care. Let me tell you something right now. We don't care. We don't care. But there is Ray, Seth, and Roman. We're gonna crack all three out of the packaging, find out what they're all about, see if they're worth a damn, and get into the details. We also have Elite 97 coming in the next few days. Let me know what you wanna see. I think I'm gonna start it off with Omos and somebody else, but let's shut the hell up and open these three packages. So here's our top picks 2023 Wave 2. I, I guess it's Wave 2. I hate the way I say that, though. I guess I should just call it the WWE Elite Top Picks 2023 Series 2 figures. Regardless, here they are out of the packaging. I, I don't know. I, I feel like it's kind of really, really good. And then at the same time, it's like, eh, you know, because I, I don't know. We'll get into all those details, of course, man. But I do like the talents that they pick for it. I love Roman. I love Ray. I love Seth. So this all works for me. I think all figures look good. I, I like the way they spin around right here. But we're going to get into and break down all of their things here as we go around but what we're gonna do is just like we do other reviews it's only three figures you know it's not like 20 so we're just gonna go Roman Reigns accessories Roman Reigns Seth Rollins accessories Seth Rollins and then we'll go Rey Mysterio's accessories Rey Mysterio I think that's the best way to do it but I'm really excited to get into these let's dive into their accessories first and then we'll get into the figures themselves now getting into Roman Reigns accessories you get a decent bit here you do get the head of the table shirt now one thing I will say really wish they why why could they make this the white head of the table shirt or the white acknowledge me shirt would have been really nice I know we have the Amazon 3-pack coming soon with the white Bloodline shirt. They should have made this the white head of the table or white Acknowledge Me shirt. Would have been really, really clean, but it is the same shirt we've seen. I'm pretty sure we got this in the other top talents with the gold gauntlet on there. This is the same shirt, but it fits the figure well, as you guys saw, and uh, it's a cloth shirt, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it over right there. We also get a look at the Universal Championship, so you do... This is kind of like your, you know, just your jack-of-all-trades Roman. You get the Universal title, you get the cloth shirt, you get the red gauntlet, you get a good-looking Roman figure. I it just it crosses all the T's, dots all the I's. Nice universal championship. It looks good. What else could you possibly want? Well, of course, you gotta have choke slamming hands, because that just makes the most sense, right? So you do have that. You guys can see the peg is red on both of your gauntlet hands. You have the fisted gauntlet and you have the choke slamming hand gauntlet. Nothing too crazy, or, you know. They they didn't sculpt on like the it's not an ultimate hand. It is legit just a painted on hand, but it's better than nothing, I guess, and the red color does look good. And we will uh all, we also have the opposite hand that is bear. You guys already get the point with the bear hands. You get fists and you get choke slamming hands. So that's it. So on to the big dog tribal chief. We do have the same Roman head that I have just grown sick and tired of, man. Jesus Christ. I'm sick of this head sculpt. I mean, I, I am just so tired of it. I just want to see something else, you know, but uh, here we are yet again. But you do have the nice tattoo going all the way around. Slight tattoo gap, not like egregious, but it is there. You do have the back tattoo, which looks really 
good. It's a Roman Reigns Elite with double jointed arms. You get the black gauntlet over here, which is really nice, and you get the red gauntlet over here, which is really nice because it's actually sculpted on. You got the graphics on there. Then from there down, it's just the shield crotch leg. Why is it so? Look at, look at all those scratches. What is that? Look at that. I don't even know what that is, but you got your black shield legs and boots, and that's, I mean, that is, that is Roman Reigns. I mean, we have seen it. You know, we have seen it. We've seen, I've seen it. I have been there and done it, and now I am going to compare this to a couple figures, including last year's top picks, or maybe it was this year's and it was just early in the year, and then you also have the Ultimate Edition, which I think looks horrible. Look at, look at this. The Elite looks way better. Look how, like, unflattering that looks, dude. It looks awful. Look at those traps to torso, like the hair going out. It just looks bad. I, I don't know, man. I am not on board with that. Could easily switch this gauntlet over here and interchange the heads. It, like, I'd like the tattoo better over here because it's like better symmetrical and looks better in placement but this figure blows this one away i do not like the way that looks man it just looks so off-putting i don't know if it, am i insane Do, are you guys seeing this let me know down below but that is your roman reigns figure comparisons are you team gold gauntlet or team red gauntlet i don't know i have like six million romans and it, we're adding another one this is the second one in just a couple weeks actually actually the third i i ordered this on amazon why did i do that all right so getting into seth rollins accessories it's it's the same old thing, right? I mean, this is a jacket that we did see with the Elite 93, except it is in full black. Now, again, it's just a re-release, right? It's just a re-release. It's not going to be over-the-top game-changing, but uh, you guys know that it's, like, got the poseable jacket, like, rubber, softer material so you can pose the arms. I do not care about the rubber jackets, man. Don't care about them. Don't want to see them, you know? I just, I'm over it. I am, uh, the ship has sailed. Like, it is just, I'm, I'm just beyond it. I'm I am sick of it because I am sick of it. You know, I think if you're just going to throw them up on the shelf and you don't care about articulation or movement, then yeah, just go ahead and throw this on there, but I'm just not a fan, man. Can't can't get behind it. Now, outside of that, one thing I am impressed with is on the gloved hands for this figure, they actually gave him black pegs, but on the Elite 93, they did not give him pe like the black pegs. It was skin tone, so it kind of interfered with it, but you get the mic holding hands, one gloved hand, and then you get the, uh, you know, the bare hand there, but it is the open hands or the, you know, the Kawhi Leonard or ricochet i don't know how many times i've said that but you guys get the point you have the gloved hand which just painted on like we saw the elite 96 kofi and then you do have the regular bare hand not like not like grizzly bare hand but bare hand like no, no nothing's nothing's on the hand it's just it's blank there is no glove on 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 this on this hand all right guys, so getting into seth rollins we've seen this head sculpt before elite series 93 mine does have like some some smuts on it you, you know it's got some smuts on it but i feel like this head sculpt's a little bit oversized I feel like they could have shrank it down a little bit, but that's besides the point. I know it's just like a, a simple repaint. It's just, I'm just talking about the Elite 93 head sculpt in general. I like the torso they choose. The hair is nice. The double jointed arms are nice. I, I like it. You got black wrist tape, black glove. I mean, this figure is just, uh, I mean, bar none, the Elite 93. We're going to get into the, uh, of course, the comparison, but I do believe this attire is based on like Hitman, one of my favorite video game series of all time, but pretty sure this is like, it, it was his, I want to say it was Hitman 2 and like a fan made a graphic of Seth Rollins similar to that, and then he made it into gear, I think, but uh, you got the red knee pad with the SR, nice silhouette there with the silver and the red and the black looking good. Then you have these newly sculpted kick pads. I know we saw it on the Elite 93, but it's it's still nice to see with the red and black, and that is uh, pretty much it, man. I mean, it, it's pretty plain Jane, but it is, it's a solid figure, and the Elite 93 Seth is good. It's a good figurine, you know? I mean, he can kick forward well. He's on ball joints. I mean, it, it's, it's solid it all the way around but we do have to get into the comparison because we got to compare it to the figure that it is a repaint of and that would be the elite 93 which is right here so you guys can see here it is virtually the same except for just some minor paint differences would have liked to seen just I, I don't even know man there's just so many gears they could have done and they decided to go with this one which is kind of bummerific and this one's not even accurate it's missing some paint detail on it so it's just a whole lot of stuff but you do have the rollins over there and yeah i i just i don't know man so many choices so many things we we talked about and could talk about and so many things that we cannot talk about all right guys so getting into Rey mysterio you know it's interchangeable hands and it is a a right back slash Rey mysterio shirt you get mysterios there the mysterios with both little masks there and on the back you do have the graphic right there same shirt we've seen a hundred times it's got the flaps on it you know it just slides over the head there no, who cares about it but we get these amazingly saturated pink gloves in the fisted hands 
and they are gloved hands. They actually have a sculpt on there, which I always like for Ray. And then you do have the SmackDown intro reaching out hands in the saturated pink that are very sweet, man. These look so good on the figure. I mean, dude, it's just so, so nice. I love these. Glad we actually get a different color instead of black again, so this is really nice to see a change of pace there. But Rey Mysterio does come with a lot of accessories. It's the same old, same old with him, but at least it is a bomb-ass attire. So getting into the, the gym of the set, the Rey Mysterio, man, this head sculpt is phenomenal. I think they did a really good job on it. I'd like a, probably a little bit more eye detail, maybe, but at the end of the day, this is that basic head sculpt from the Army Green Rey Mysterio, and it just looks so good repainted. I mean, it doesn't matter what mask you do here. It, it really looks just like Rey, I think. The facial expression, the mask, all the colors, it's beautiful. All the pink, yellow, white, and black really contrast well here. You got the yellow singlet, all his tattoos on here. I love the bicep bands. They look good. You got the double jointed arms. So much stuff going on with this gear between the singlet and the trunks with the Macho Man-esque. You even have the pink and black wrist bands and then you have the the pink gauntlets that go over it with the gloves you even got the belt deco you have Rey Mysterio deco all over I am Lucha on the back with the stars I mean this is truly a beautiful piece and it feels so good in the hand the yellow boots look fantastic with the stars you even have more deco on there this is just such a great piece and you guys if you if you've been around the channel for any length of time you will know how much I enjoy Rey Mysterio figures because this formula that they give him nowadays is so so good and feels so good in the hand you can like just pose this guy around all day like it's just fantastic i just like if you don't like posing a figure around you've never posed this guy around like he feels like spider-man you know what i mean like he can just do all the different poses that you need he looks fantastic this is incredible i say go order it right now you guys know that i shoot straight with you in these reviews and i'm not being any different right here when i tell you i don't know if i've put over a figure as hard as this i i Honestly, I'd like to know down in the comment section below if anybody can remember the figures that I put over the most, or if any of them come to mind. But let's get into some Rey Mysterio figure comparisons and look at some of these Rays that we have seen just in the past couple years. I mean, dude, good God in heaven. This is a top picks we just got. Elite 92, another top picks that we got not, not that long ago, I guess, maybe a year or two. You have the recent top picks. You have the top picks we just got too, like not that long ago. You have the Elite 89, I think, or Elite 87, and then you have the new Dominic Builda figure, SummerSlam Elite Rey Mysterio, and that's not including the Legends that's coming, that's not including the Royal Rumble figure that's coming, that's not including the Ruthless Aggression figure that's coming. So Rey Mysterio has so many figures, and you guys can just see, if they would have reused this head again with the smirk, I would have I would have removed my duodenum. But, this figure's phenomenal, I mean, dude, they, I, I don't even know what to say at this juncture. It's just unbelievable with the figures that we've been getting. Oh my Jesus. And if you didn't know, these are two different head sculpts right here. The last top picks, because the mask is actually fully sculpted on there, compared to this one where there's holes in the back. So, lots of different stuff we've been getting, man. I mean, a truly unbelievable. I love this Rey Mysterio. It, I, I just don't have enough words to say it. But I think that pretty much is going to wrap up this WWE Elite figure wave of WWE Top Picks 2023 figures. Overall, I think the full set's very quality, you know? I mean, I, I hate that Seth Rollins is so plain Jane compared to his Elite 93. I think there's so many different figures that we could have gotten for him, right? There could have, There's so many different decos they could have done, but they pretty much went with one that was very similar and I do believe that this gear is supposed to be not Hitman inspired but the logo on the side is supposed to be Hitman inspired if I'm not mistaken and Hitman is one of my favorite video game series of all time so that is pretty cool to see that in figure form and, and to see that come to fruition I think that's awesome but it's so similar to his Elite 93 that it's kind of eh but at the same time, you know, I I just think that he has so many colorful gears that we haven't seen, you know, especially from this style of his character, and it's so similar to the Elite 93. Kind of a letdown, but at the same time, I love Seth Rollins, so that works for me. I hate that, you know, it's just a slight color change of the jacket and everything. Roman Reigns, it's a great figure. You know, it's a standalone Roman. You get your double joint arms, you get your full tattoo, you get a good head sculpt, t-shirt, universal title. It's a standalone great Roman, and you get the red gauntlet. It doesn't have the sculpted gauntlet on there, which I would have liked on the right hand, but it is a red gauntlet. We have the ultimate edition stuff like that however it is a good roman base for people that miss out on them or want more of those but the Rey mysterio has to be the gym of the set i think it's the best Rey mysterio elite they've ever made it feels quality in the hand i love the colors i love the head sculpt i love everything about it it is truly toyetic and i think it just looks phenomenal man it really does if you don't get anything from this set 
just go get the Ray. Only get the Ray. I think this Ray is so much better than the ones that we've gotten this year. And I love the pink Ray that we've gotten, but this one beats that one out. It really, really does. And I can't even remember if that figure dropped this year. I think it did. I think that this Top Picks Ray would uh, would overcome that one. I don't know that for sure, but I'm pretty sure it does. I think this is the best Ray Mysterio figure possibly ever made. I know a bit of a hot take there, but damn. Feels good in the hand. Looks fantastic. Great head sculpt. So quality. So just gorgeous. You gotta grab it. You gotta to grab it go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent when shopping over there always appreciate you guys using the code you guys are absolutely incredible but this wave is solid i do like this wave is it the best wave of all time i don't think so but i think you're getting some good pieces here and a lot of it is skippable but the ray mysterio must be a grab and i think that is something that we must acknowledge just like the tribal chief here but let's get into our random shout out before we get out of here man and this shout out will go to kyle max gbr pov mattel after release Releasing the 564th Rey Mysterio we've gotten this year. Seems like we need more. And yes, if you guys, do, I don't think you guys quite grasp how many Rey Mysterios we are getting or have gotten in the last couple years combined. It's like 12 different elites, I'm pretty sure, man, which is just ridiculous, if I'm not mistaken. I, I could like count it up, but it is a lot. You have a Legends figure, you have this top picks, we have even more, you have the Survivor Series, you have the SummerSlam, you have that Royal Rumble one coming. Unbelievable. Thank you guys for watching, hope you guys did enjoy. Have a blessed. And I'll see you guys next time. You cross the line.